Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne and I'm not dead. I'm here. I'm so <laughs> I have not been around for a hot minute. I, life is busy, man. You know how it is. But I have all kinds of things to tell you, all kinds of things to do today. Number one, let's talk about uh, the fit check here. This is my Schitt's Creek dress. Pockets plus size, glorious, there's his sweater, love it so much. Um, it is from Carolina Dress Room, it is a UK brand, it takes a hot minute to get here, you have to do a conversion from pounds to dollars if you're in America, 10 out of 10, this is the Mia, um, and it is, it's, it's everything, it's everything. I uh, ordered it thinking, dear Lord, let it fit, I mean, yeah, because they do have a size chart. It's not that. It's me. Because a lot of times my body is shaped funky. Like probably several of yours. The proportions are just are not perfect. And so finding something that fits to where I am satisfied that it fits. To Anyway, it's a whole thing. It does. I'm a little bit of Lexus. Look at her. Oh my. It's so good. It is so good. Um. So anyway, I'm just. It, if you check them out. They are. Vi and I recommend if you really like funky stuff. They do leggings as well and other types of dresses. Um, if you like that kind of style, I highly recommend joining their Facebook group because the admin of that group posts what's coming up so that you know the, like the date and the time of the release so that you're ready to go. I ordered four on Friday that released. So super excited. Super excited. Anyway, uh, super excited to find this brand because it's very me. Um, it's comfortable. It's stretchy. I mean, like it's, 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 it fits well, but it's also my kind of kitsch. Anyway, so here we are. If you were also my kind of kitsch, there you go. Good morning. It's Sunday. Um, this hair is a whole mood. Uh, we'll fix it later today. We are going out of the house today. We went out of the house yesterday. I have a lot to tell you. Anywho, um, I'm leaving the house. But first, uh, I want to tell you what I got in my boxy charms this month for July of 2021. And then I want to use a lot of these products on my face today, along with some other new stuff that I have as well. So let me just go through the boxy charms. I get normal, regular, regular boxy, and then I get the premium. So um, I used to get Lux. I canceled that ish because it was not great. But this is in the normal box for what I got in July. I got a. Uh, leave-in like styling aid you know kind of conditioner thing for your hair which is great because um i i no longer have to buy products like this anymore because they come in my box i get i get boxies and i get ipsy i get one every several months right now i'm halfway through the the reza one that i got um like i never have to buy these anymore but i use them every time i wash my hair so that is uh that's good i'm glad i have that product um, the prices that they say they sell these things for are BS, and you and I both know that. I got a billion dollar brow, hello, billion dollar brow taupe, little thin eyebrow pencil with a spoolie on one end. Uh, this I believe was my choice this month for, I got the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser, and, uh, I love pharmacy products. I, the all, only pharmacy products I've ever tried have been from boxes, and I have recycling lives there. I have enjoyed them all, so this was a good one for me. Um, I've I've been using some sample size cleansers, um, and so I'm I'm happy to have uh, another full size cleanser to throw in the bathroom. Um, I also, and I've actually used this already. These are the Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. They're those. They look like uh, like a paisley shape, and they go under your eye. I've used them twice now. They're slippery little buggers. They're slippery, um, but there are, um, you leave them on for like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. There are 30 pairs 
I like them. I used them this morning. I don't have puffing, so the depuffing doesn't work for me, but hydration was great. This was a good product for me. Um, I don't have any of these. I've used them in like sample packs, you know, where you get like one uh, pair, but that that's so cute. I love it. And then the other product that I got was the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder, and I'm super excited. I did get the email from the packaging, y'all. The Beauty Bakery packaging is just to die for. I did get a um, an email from Boxy saying they're sorry they got my shade wrong. And I don't know if they mean the Billion Dollar Brows or if they mean the Beauty Bakery. This is in the shade Oat, Oat Translucent. I think it'll be fine. I will I will try this out today. Um, it has a little turny set it up. Uh, Whatchamadoodle, a little turny thing so that you can shut the sifter. That was the word. Words. And so that's a good thing if you are. Ooh, ooh, y'all, watch out for that sifter. It comes up quick. Oh gosh. Okay, well, we're we're a bit of a struggle. Okay, well, the sifter like came up as I was peeling it off and got powder almost everywhere, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's uh, that's that. It's really a staple type of product, which is a great one to get. Um, I have a few Beauty Bakery products and like them. Okay, so that was Base Box. Premium was a takeover from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So they're all Anastasia products this month. Um, I got a pair of false lashes from Anastasia. They look pretty decent. Little wispy, little long. This is in the shade, I'm gonna pronounce it snazzy, but that's not how you spell snazzy. So I don't know, snazzy? Anyway, there's them. Um, not bad. I mean, I, I'll wear them. They have, a, they have a like, it's not like an invisible band. There's like an actual band, so. Um, pair of floss lashes, not bad, not bad, not bad. Got a liquid lipstick, which I am not really a fan of her liquid lipstick, but the shade is really nice. It's in the shade Ashton. It's a, it's a brownie kind of nude, but I just don't like her formula. I just don't like it. It is drying on me and I don't like it. I did get a mascara, which I, that's great. Um, this is the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara. Why does this packaging remind me of something? Does it, where is it? Because it looks very similar to the Fenty. <laughs> that's why. Which I also got in a box. Very heavy packaging, really, really pretty. We will use this today. I don't have too many mascaras open. Mm, hourglass shaped one. I don't. I got the Ooh. Violent recycling. We'll use her today. Uh, another brow product because why not two in one month? This is the Anastasia. Of course, it is Leanne. The brow def. Finer. I think this is the triangular shape. This is a medium brown. Are you the triangular shaped? Yeah, it's like the, that kind. Perfect. I use brow pencils and I go through many of them frequently. This It Cosmetics Brow Power though, I have been trying to use it up for months and it's still going strong. So anywho, got a powder bronzer in the shade Rosewood. I believe this was a choice. Um, and I chose the shade Rosewood because I thought it sounded, isn't it pretty? Um, I thought that it sounded like it would be kind of a ready shade, and it might be. Not 100% sure, but we'll try her out on our face today. Today. Mr. Bugwalt's going to love this recycling. All right, and the piece of resistance is the Norvina palette that I got. I got volume three. I have none of these. So, um, none of the Norvina palettes at all. So, this is probably not the shade selection that I would have chosen for myself um, if given a choice. But, um, I mean, will I use this? Absolutely, I'll use this. I am a super color person, so I will absolutely use this. Uh, the shades that are neon -y are that neon -y in real life. And I think that's what excites me the most about this palette. Um, it, it, what I'm wearing today is not this. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I might, I might do a little cheat and just use a shade out of this on my lid. And then 
I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I might actually use it fully in a, where I'm doing an actual full on look with it. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, it's, uh, it's quite nice. It's big, heavy. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Like that, that's a good product. That's a good product for boxy. It's a great product for, um, they were great products to get. So I will use them all except for the lipid, liquid lipstick that will go in a giveaway. I just, it just, it's not for me. It's not built for me. So a beautiful shade. Love the shade. Not a fan of the formula at all. Cheers. All right. So let me clean off some of this stuff that I'm not going to use today because there are some products that I won't. So cleaned up a little bit because <laughs> I needed to. Let's see here. So today we're going to do um, mostly new products. There's the old pocket bunny. Um, I did pull a new primer to give a try. This one I think came in another box and I haven't tried it yet. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is the illuminating version, which y'all know how I feel about illuminating primers. So let's give her a shot. Seems to be kind of a pinky champagne. Let's see how she does here. Oh yeah. It's not super tin manny, but it has that uh, that same flavor that I like of making it making my face illume, darling. And the reason why I want it to illume is because I'm going to use uh, my Good Apple Foundation from KVD Beauty. This one is, I've already hit pan in her, and it's, I've kind of smeared stuff over it, but um, it's just perfect. I love, I love this foundation. A lot of people don't. It's fast. It's very, very um, opaque for me. Um, super high coverage, if I want it to be, can still sheer it out a little to make it less crazy looking. And which I'm fine with. I also enjoy crazy looking because that's my that's my bag, baby. It's a little too dark for me. I have looked online. I'm pretty. This is light um, ten. I'm pretty sure that I am light zero six, but it's out of stock everywhere like usual. So I've gone ahead and done the whole email me when that shade comes in because this is the second shade that I bought. They it says on the website that the shade in the pan can be very deceiving. And I think that's accurate. I think also the shade description is quite deceiving too, because this one I think is called light with uh, pink undertones. I think the undertone is spot on. It's, it, this one is not quite light. It's just, it's a little bit darker. So I've now, I think I'm gonna go down the next step to the next pink undertone and that's light zero six. So we'll soon, when that comes in, I'll get it. We'll take a look at it. Um, and, uh, I'll still use this one. It's fine. I can make it work. We got a bronzer today. Well, just bronze in a impactful way. So here's what I do to make this really work for me is I put it on with a brush and get it everywhere. And then I go over it with a damp sponge. And when I do that, and if I've moisturized effectively here, I don't have weird patches. It doesn't do anything on dry patches. I will say that if I've got healing acne that is dry and I've used, you know, extra benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid or tea tree on the actual spot on the blemish itself, it will cling. It, it will cling to it. So if you have dry skin, this may not be the foundation for you or you may have to baby it a bit, but as long as I've moisturized uh, and I use a oh, damp sponge after to press it all the way in, it looks fabulous. It stays all day and I love it. This is a favorite. And I know a lot of people didn't love it because they don't have the skin uh, type that works the best with this foundation. But uh, that's okay. A lot of people love other foundations that I don't love. Same reason, just different skin types. Kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Okay. There's that. I do have indentions on my face for my CPAP. So just 
you know, that's part of my face. Okay, let's do some erase paste, maybe. Let's do some erase paste. This is Benefit Erase Paste in number one, Fair. Um, this is an old product and it is still working for me, so I'm gonna continue to use it. Uh, I pulled it from the depths of the world a few months ago and I have been using it ever since. And it's quite good for what I need it for, but it is older. So it's now released as the Boing Concealer from Benefit. Um, same principle. It's a pinky salmony under eye corrector, but for me it works just just like it is as a concealer because I am that pink. I also have it number two, um, but that's a little bit dark, and I do have to use a concealer over that. So here's the Benefit Erase Paste Concealer. All right, now I'm going to use Ulta Eyeshadow Primer in Nude on oh, my lids. So that pure eyeshadow primer that I used out of the foil packet, don't like. It creased. It creased, y'all. It creased. I used it for a few days. And, uh, you know, just wasn't sure if it was, you know, I, I didn't get my skincare off my eyelids or whatever. Or if it was the, if it was the um, eyeshadows that I used, but it was that eyeshadow primer. So I don't recommend the pure uh, eyeshadow primer. Don't like that. Didn't look cute. Did not look cute. So back to the old Ulta Nude Eyeshadow Primer. Sometimes the oldies are the besties. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, I got a new product for blush, and it is a cream product. This is the Elf Putty Blush in Bora Bora. I've not, I've not tried these. They've been out for quite a while. I'd like to get my hands on the Putty Bronzer, but I haven't seen that one. I know lots of people have used these, but I was in store and picked it up. So I was happy to grab it, just hadn't tried it yet. Let's try, I'm gonna use my normal, it's a, it, it works for powder blush too, but I seem to, I seem to do quite well with this. Um, it's a Luxie brush, and it is just an angled cheek brush kind of thing. And let's see how we get, how we get on with the old Elf Putty blush here. Bora Bora, it's very pink. Mm -hmm. So I do have plans for today, super excited about them. Um, so in my town, I have a movie theater that um, is quite close to my house actually. And it offers a, like a membership type of a program where you pay a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription and you get to see three movies a week with that every week for the whole month or year depending on you know what subscription you have and you're like but that can't be yes can <laughs> yes can if you like movies it's a great deal so I do it uh, uh, my best friend and I both have a subscription and so it we've had it since the beginning of 2020 and uh, that's a little sad because it, in April, I think, we went to our last movie in March and in the, using the program. And then it canceled, obviously, or, or I guess not canceled, but just paused, I guess. And um, it just now started back up. So we're going to go see Black Widow today. We both really enjoy movies and going to the movie theater. So we're gonna go do that today, which I'm so I'm excited about. I love it. I'm using the Beauty Bakery powder, by the way, to set. Used a smaller brush under my eyes. nice right okay so far so far cute so we're gonna go see a movie and we're gonna go um eat lunch at a place right in front of the movie theater 
we'll use rosewood. And I'm excited about that. Enjoy doing that. Yesterday went to paint pottery with the with my sister and her spawn, the youngest, six year old little niece. It was amazing. Hi, Eleanor. And she she is an artiste. She's a crafter, is Eleanor. And so we went and painted the pottery, you know, where they, um, you pick the piece off the wall and then you, um, they fire it and you go pick it up later in the week, you know? So we did that, painted, uh, I painted a garden gnome for mine and I'm super happy. Um, anyway, <laughs> we had a great time. Eleanor had a great time. She is fantastic at that and then uh, went to the plant nursery afterwards to pick up just a couple more plants. Mr. Mugwump was not pleased, but I did it anyway. And uh, then last night planted them. Uh, it, I, like, you know, the hottest day of the year. Like, why wouldn't I do that? Uh, got a few more hibiscus for out front and one on the side of the house. And then picked up just a couple more plants to fill in. Uh, Went ahead and trimmed up the butterfly bush out front. Have been getting amazing butterflies um, this year. Bumblers, the bumblebees, is bumblers is what we call them here. Anyway, the bumblers are out and about. I have most, every plant out front is a, uh, up, like a specific for pollinators. So I have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, bumblebees and butterflies and all that jazz. Super happy about it. So picked up a couple more um, plants for pollinators out front. Love it. Okay. Okay. I used the all made blush that I picked up from um, Amazon. It's a it doesn't have a color on it, but I think it's the moth blush. It's really cute. Um, it's just been sitting out here all week. I'm gonna use the billion dollar, billion dollar brows little micro pencil that they sent over in taupe. Let's see how the taupe color is. I don't know if uh, taupe is gonna be dark enough, but we'll find. Oh yes, it is. That's fine. That's fine. Is this taupe? It said it on the box, but man, if this is taupe, it's a dark taupe. It, it is taupe. Okay, cool. Go ahead, Billion Dollar Brows. I enjoy, actually, quite a few of their products. They are not anywhere near priced what I would buy them for, but I like their sponge. Um, I've actually picked up a couple of those in the boxy, like, pop-up or add-ons for, like, $2 or something, uh, because I do like that sponge. I got it in a in a box one month and really enjoy it. It's a good sponge, it's like a gray color. Um, and then I have enjoyed a couple more of their products. Their brow product products are pretty dang good. So uh, this is really, really pigmented. Creamy, but not getting everywhere, which is good for me because I can get some stuff in some places that it oughtn't be in. I have two different brows. We just going to embrace it and, uh, you know, may the Lord be with you. There we go. Okay. That's not a bad little pencil. Good job. Good job. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. A really good fly. All right, eyeshadow. This is the part that I'm like, mm, I do. I mean, of course I want to use this, but I'm, I've got a lot going on on my body today with my just pure which now has powder everywhere. It's fine. I think maybe we'll just go super simple, and maybe I'll give myself a pass to really use this again. You know, I don't know. How dark is this? See, it's a lovely shade. Let's just put that all over the lid. But, the, but not very, very high. Like, let's just put it all over the lid. Not very, very high. And then... We'll go from there. I did a full-on blue look this past week. It was fabulous. I look like Mimi from Drew Carey. And it was beautiful. This is the shade B1. It's just a... It matches my um, 
cardigan. I'm also wearing some footless snag tights underneath. I do not um, show legs. I don't, it's just a me thing. You do you, baby, I'll do me. Um, and so I wear snag tights frequently, almost all the time, um, when I wear a dress. And um, I love it. <sighs> do I want to just pop, like, there's this, like, this kind of peachy... I don't like, I don't want to go like super, I don't want to go blue any higher than that I am. So let's just use a little bit of that V5 shade, which is this kind of peachy brown matte. And let's just, let's just do it right above, get a little bit of color, but not a lot right there. And then we'll blend, hang on. This is not a fancy eye look for sure. I will use this palette again, even though I've, I'm using one eyeshadow palette a day on my, in my life and in my channel, and I haven't repeated a palette, but I think I need to with this one because I'm not actually using this palette for real, for real. Um, and so I will use this one um, again. So I don't feel like this is doing it justice. I mean, it's beautiful. That's a great, it's a great little... It's a great little palette. It's a great little, excuse me, it's a great little eye look. It's just straightforward, shimmer, matte. They both blend beautifully. It's fine. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll use it again. I'll do a crazy neon something with it. But for today, darling, that's it. Let me see, do I have like a really cool, um, Eyeliner. Ugh, what is this one? This is. Oh yeah, let's use that. This is the AOA Studio Metallic Buttercream in Flirtatious. These are a dollar on the AOA Studio, like mm, on the Shop Miss A website, and they are just little gel eyeliners. You could also use them as a cream shadow, and they are pretty dang good. I haven't used this one in a hot minute. Let's see how we how we go with her. Okay, there's eyeliner. Let's try mascara. Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. It's definitely uh, volumizing, but I don't know. I probably, I don't pay um, high-end prices for mascara. I just use what comes in boxes. And then um, I buy drugstore stuff. Like my favorite is the Essence Lash Princess. So I will buy a drugstore mascara to try if I'm feeling froggy, but you know, I don't buy high end because why? It's a beautiful, heavy package. It's it's a pretty package, um, but meh. okay. I did a thing yesterday. Y'all would be so proud of me. I actually used mascara on my bottom lashes, so let's do that. This is the Heroin Mate Long and Curl Mascara, super waterproof. It is from Amazon. It is a Japanese brand. And she's beautiful. Yeah. 
There we go. There's Leanne with bottom lashes. I don't know if I like it or not. Except I did it yesterday and I kind of did. So we're going to go with it. I'm also going to do one coat of this up top real quick. Just looking lashy today. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, lips. I do. I did get a new Milani, the Keep It Full, the plumping, whatever, like, lip gloss that I like. I found this in 02 Nude Shimmer. I think it's a little bit peachy, but let's see. Not a lot of color. So this would be a fabulous like topping gloss. But it's pretty. It is pretty. There's the face y'all. Should have sprayed before the mascara. Let me try to do this without getting it in my eyes. <laughs> Rimmel Stay Matte setting spray. There it is. Simple, simple, simple look. But some color. A little pop of color there. So far, I'm actually pleased with everything that, uh, that I got, I don't think that anything is disappointing, which is great. That's that's always a good boxy month. Um, the only, I mean, the the liquid lipstick is going to go to a new home, and someone will love that. And uh, everything else, I will absolutely use. So excellent. Stay tuned for my Ipsy bag when it gets here. I'll do that as well. I know some of us just enjoy looking at what other people got in their box you know but also with boxy um specifically a lot of times when you see a product being used and you're like oh that's really cool i'd like that it may be in like next month's add-ons next month's pop-up or whatever so it is good to take a look and see somebody use it and decide whether or not it would be worth a purchase because the purchase price is typically a fraction of the cost of what it would cost to actually purchase the item outright. But uh, yeah, I think it looks good. I am working on the lower lashes being there. We'll see how we like it. Let me know if you like it below. Um, let me know what you got in your box this month. Were we box twins? Were you uh, satisfied with your boxes this month? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of you who are continuing to support me. Even if I may be a little MIA, I have work. I have a lot of things going on. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, make videos as I can. And it's always a pleasure to hang out with y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let's be friends. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.